Hey everybody, I wanted to give you a little bit of an idea of the experience of the M5 Stack UI Flow program. And basically, you can program this just like any other ESP32 using MicroPython or the Arduino IDE. But I decided I wanted to try the experience of their UI Flow. And so I've played with a couple different versions of it and decided to go with the beta version, the newest one, because it supports the faces, those little kits. Uh, add-on kits that I had just wanted to, to give you guys a little bit of an idea of how it works. So um, if you're familiar with the Arduino ID, you're used to having the setup thing and so that's that's cool and what we could do so let's give an example here let's go to advanced I haven't actually used this new version so I'm doing it on the fly. Um, so if I come down here to MQTT you could set up a server and so let's just call this uh, ESP faces for my client ID. And I'll just use a Raspberry Pi I have sitting here on the network. 192. Try that. 192.168.95. We'll use the one on 222. And uh, we won't use the username and password on that one. And then what we'll do is we'll come to MQTT start and we'll start that. And so we, we basically said that whenever we start up, go ahead and set up MQTT. And so let's go ahead and publish on boot. Let's publish to the topic of uh, M5 hello, and we will say hello world. And then what we'll do is we will make a loop. And basically, you know, the loop is similar to, I guess it'd be an event. Um, so we're going to set up a loop here and basically this is just like an Arduino loop. We're going to come in and we're going to say uh, every, let's see here, let's say every 10 seconds. So we'll come here to event and we will say, I guess there's one called timer. Let's say we'll grab and wait 10 seconds and we're going to say publish, let's go to MQTT and we will publish right there we're going to publish uh, m5 messages and let's just publish still here and we'll bring this to 20 seconds okay so we're going to drag that in there so the loop is connected and now so basically what we're doing is every 20 seconds we will publish the message saying that we're still here and then just to show you how to subscribe, we will come in and get MQTT topic and then we'll make a topic called uh, two, uh, 2 M5. And then we will, let's take that information, whatever we get there, and let's put that on the screen. So if we wanted to put a random string or whatever on the screen, we would come in and grab a label and we'll click it and we'll give it a name and we'll say uh, MQTT in and then call this MQTT in and then uh, let's we'll make it yellow let's just be a little different mm, let's find a prettier yellow let's that's not a pretty yellow I'm not much of an artist tell you what let's make it this green color greenish yellow alright so we have that and then we're going to click it again and we're going to change the font size to let's make it relatively big I don't know how big this message is going to be that we're going to send to it but we'll just kind of stick it over here so then what we want to do is come up here to UI and label and then so we're going to drag this in here and instead of saying hello M5 we're going to go back to the MQTT and get topic data. So in other words, what's going to happen is every 20 seconds, we're going to publish a message. And then in Node Red, we're going to have it return a message and send it back. And it's going to print that on the screen. So I'm going to go set up the Node Red side and I'll come right back. Okay, so what we did is, uh, or what I did was, went over here and made a very simple uh, thing. I've already uploaded it to test it, but basically M5 hello just comes over here to the debugger. 
when it gets a message that says still here it's going to print it to the debugger and then it, there's a little function in here that generates a random number between uh, 1000 and 9999 just to make it four digits and then it will um, MQTT that back out so just come over here I did have to change my IP address I am using a different Pi uh, if I were to come here and click on this I might make this a little bit bigger let's make since we know it's gonna be four digits and uh, let's see I don't know that, that actually changes the font size once you get it going so we may just leave it um, we'll drag it a little bit more to the center so the thing rebooted in a simple upload mode and I can hit the download button and it's gonna connect to it and it's gonna upload and then it'll immediately reboot to where I can actually see the code on the screen voila nothing fancy but you can see that the uh, the screen changed and we're getting our random number so obviously I don't have to show you everything about dragging and dropping but there's all kinds of things in here like these faces and this is what I'm really excited about for some of the the future things if you sign up for the contest you have the opportunity to get the RFID and the joystick and the encoder and the fingerprint reader but I have the Game Boy actually the Game Boy is on there right now so I can drag that in here and I can check to see you know if up was pressed if down was pressed and and all that and just interact with those things with any kind of logic so I could come in here and I could drag in if up was pressed and I could say pressed or released then go ahead and take this and publish and you'll immediately get the power of being able to mix these things up so now instead it's instead of sending it every 20 seconds it's going to just send it when I press the up key and so there's all kinds of cool things there's things in here to uh, this emoji thing is kind of cool you could come in and build on the screen like let's say if I wanted to make a D you can come in here and check which boxes uh, would would come to make a D so I could come around here and make my own D emoji or whatever it is that you want to make there and just all kinds of all kinds of fun stuff like that you can draw shapes with the different um, X and Y coordinates on there you can use normal functions there's timers built in you can mess with text and you can map different things to different things you can parse JSON just all kinds of if you want to hook up to the the gpio pins you can you can read all that stuff here and so i mean it's a very cool way to interact with this and and just to, to show you one last thing you can actually come over here and go to the python and mess with it so like if you can't do exactly what you want to do so if faces boy press zero like you could go in there and actually change that or if you need to do a little bit more of a debounce you can change the microsecond delay from two microseconds to three microseconds or whatever you need to do you have the ability to do it so thumbs up to m5 stack for building this in with the rest of the program and so i i think there's going to be some fun things we're going to be able to do with this and i look forward to playing with it more